So hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free maths videos for GCSE and A level. This video is about percentages. So I'm going to start with some non-calculated stuff. How do you work out 1% and 10% of 615? Because those two crucial things will help you work out percentage, any sort of percentage you want. Okay, so 1% of 615 all you do is move the decimal point two places because 1% means 100th and to work out 100th on something you just divide it by 100 obviously. Anyway, and to work out 10% well you just basically just divide it by 10. Yeah, um, so move the decimal point one place instead. Okay, uh, if you want a reason for that, well, you could take think about it the long way. You could say, well, 1% is that, so 10% is 10 times that, which basically moves the decimal point one place forward. But if you want to, rather than going 1, 2, and then 1 step back, you just go 1 step back in the first place. Anyway, so that's how to work out 10%. Just move the decimal point one place. Um, and once you know 1% and 10% you can work out all sorts of percentages like for example 20% uh, if I've worked out 10% already which is 61.5 10 percent of 615 by the way um, is 61.5 then 20% of 615 would be double that which is 123 and I can work out 21% if I wanted to I could work out so now I've worked out 20% I could work out 21% because I decided 60 Point one five on top of that, which is a hundred and twenty nine point one five, etc., etc. It's really simple. Another good one to know is five percent, which you can easily work out from ten percent, because five percent is quite easy, to, you know, quite useful sorts of percentages. How do you work out five percent? You just work out ten percent, and you halve the ten percent, you get five percent. Easy peasy. Anyway. Um, what should I say next? Let's talk about these fractions, decimals, and percentages. Uh, really important because we, especially the the decimal stuff, we use it all over the place. Okay, for all the more intelligent questions. So, how do I convert my thirteen out of a hundred into um, a decimal? Well, 13 out of 100 into a decimal is really simple because that means 13 divided by 100, which just means 0 0.13. I could actually jump straight from here to there because 13 out of 100 means 13%, just by definition, because percent means out of 100, right? So 13 out of 100 is 13%. Or I can convert from a decimal, which is really easy to see. 0 0.13 basically is 13%. If it was 0 0.03, it would be 3%. Okay. Now, if you have a fraction that's not out of a hundred, well, three out of twenty is the same as fifteen out of a hundred, times top and top and bottom by five. You know, so that's that. Fifteen out of hundred is um, again very simple to do. Fifteen divided by hundred is zero point one five, or fifteen out of hundred is fifteen percent. Sometimes you don't have a fraction which is over a hundred. So you just have to be a bit more creative, maybe do a bit of long division, 5 divided by 8 long division, 0 0.65, easy peasy, or, I mean, if you don't know how to do that, just go to the website here and look for division or something. Um, or you could do 5 eighths is actually 4 eighths plus 1 eighth. Okay, and 4 eighths is really easy because that's 0 0.5, and 1 eighth is really easy because it's half of a quarter, which is 0 0.125. So 0 0.125 plus 0 0.5 is 0 0.65. Again, this is a really interesting one because then you can really compare how to get decimals to percentages. That's six, that 6 means 60%, that 2 means 2%, and that 5, think about it in like columns, that means tenths of percentages, so 5 tenths of a percentage, so 0 0.5, so 62.5% is the same as 0 0.65 as a decimal. Now, all that comes into use for increasingly as we go into harder questions, okay? So, t let's look at this. 12% of 60, well, 12, these are calculator type questions, so 12% it can be written as 0 0.12, so if you want a percentage of something, that of turns into a times, so 12% of 60 is written as 0 0.12 times 60, which is 7.2. Now, building on that, if you want to increase 60 by 12%, that means I want 
the original 60 plus 12 percent okay now I want the original plus 12 percent is another way of saying I want the I want a hundred percent of the original plus 12 percent of the original I want a hundred and twelve percent of the original okay now if that's how to write 12 percent 0 0.12 then to write a hundred and twelve percent I write 1.12 okay uh, so you do simply to 1.12 times 60 and I get IV increase 12, uh, 60 by 12 percent which is 67.2 now you might be thinking why bother going through that complication because actually this kind of quick shortcut okay is built upon in an even more interesting question and you get another shortcut based on this shortcut so if you don't know this shortcut of increasing something uh, by percentage you can't get the very Im more important um, shortcut later on so that's why you need to be able to do that but say if you really want to you can simply do work out 12 percent of 60 and then add it to 60 you would get the same answer sure no problem. Okay, now if you want to decrease 60 by 10%, uh, there's another idea for you. Um, decreasing by 10% means what I really want to know is what's left after decreasing. So if I decrease by 10%, I'm left with 90%. Okay, so what is 90% of 60 is 0 0.9 times 60, so which is 54. So basically I've worked out what 60 years after decreasing by 10% which is the same as working at 90% okay um, right let's move on and build on these ideas here with decimals um, I'm gonna do something which is often known as reverse percentages okay um, basically I've got an original amount which I don't know but I know I reduced that original amount by 20% and now I've got 16 pounds okay uh, let's talk about it in terms of shop stuff here yeah, because that makes it easier to understand so I'm in a shop and I see this price tag and, goes, and now it's 16 pounds after reducing by 20 percent okay so what and I'm wondering to myself how much did I really save that would just be so interesting okay so um, how much was the original cost so if I don't know something, as in we use, as in typically what we do in maths, we call it x, don't we? Yeah. If we don't know something, we call it x. And now we reduce by twenty percent, which means I keep eighty percent. Okay. Building on this idea that we had in number example number nine. Okay. And we times because that means we want if we if we want eighty percent of something, we times like we explained here. Okay. Um. So, 80% of x is equal to 16 because 16 is the final result, our new price. Okay, how do we work out x? You simply rearrange the equation so that times by 0 0.8 becomes a divide by 0 0.8. If you don't know how to do that trick, that equation trick, go to the basic equations video in sigmas.co.uk. And then what you say is x equals 16 divided by 0 0.8, which is equal to 20. So I found the original. Now some people who don't really get maths properly, they'll say, well, why don't I just work out 20% of 16 and just add it on to the 16? Wouldn't that be easier? But no, it wouldn't. That would be wrong, actually. Um, because if I worked out 20% of 16, that is not work that's not the same as working out 20% of the original amount okay twenty percent of the original amount we greater than twenty percent of sixteen because the original amount was greater than sixteen okay so that's why that trick won't work you have to do it like this okay anyway um, the next one is about what we call compound percentage because compound means to build upon yeah you know when you compound your problems by putting one problem on top of another that's where that comes from okay um, so um, this is a typical example they often call the topic compound interest because they often use interest uh, interest rates and stuff okay and what is interest by the way interest is just the amount of money you get uh, from the bank for keeping certain money certain amount of money in an account with that bank
Okay, so say I've got a hundred pounds in my account with this particular bank, which is paying me ten percent a year. That's a lot, of, a lot for a bank. Um, so they're going to give me ten percent of whatever I've got in the bank account, in my bank account. Okay, because what they do is they mess around with my money. Okay, and for the privilege of messing around with my money, they're going to give me ten um, percent. Okay, they're going to say thank you very much. Uh, here is uh, ten percent of the value of your account every year. Okay, so what is ten percent of a hundred pounds? It's ten pounds. So after one year of keeping a hundred pounds in the bank account, okay, I get a ten pound. Thank you very much. Okay, um, but after if I keep that hundred and ten pounds, okay, for another year. Okay, then I get a further. T I get a ten percent on my hundred and ten pounds. Okay, not on the original hundred hundred pounds because now I've got a hundred and ten pounds in the account. The bank should give me ten percent on the hundred and ten pounds. Okay, so the working out for this. Oh, and um, how much money would I have after thirteen years? Well. If I have a hundred pounds to start off with, and I times it by one point one zero because that will increase it by ten percent, and then I take that answer and I times that by one point one zero to find out how much I would have after the second year, because that would increase my hundred and ten pounds by ten percent, and then I take that answer and times that by one point one zero to increase this answer by ten percent again and again and again thirteen times the shortcut for that would be simply to do a hundred times one point one zero to the power thirteen because all I'm doing really is timesing by one point zero times by one point one zero again and again and again okay so um and the brackets by the way don't seem to do anything do they they don't they don't really have any mathematical effect so uh that's the shortcut for that which gives me roughly £345 after my 13 years. And of course it doesn't have to be to do with interest, it could be anything, it could be a car's value increasing or decreasing every year by a certain percentage. Okay? Um, now, uh, yeah, just, just, by, just to bear in mind, uh, Say we're talking about a car and it's decreasing its value. First of all, we'll be using this sort of trick, yeah. Zero point. So if we're decreasing by ten percent, I'll be writing zero point nine, not one point one zero, of course. Okay, and uh, it should be this. This trick only works if we're decreasing as percentage of the previous year. Okay. Now, if we're decreasing by ten percent flat every year, so. Um, Say my car was worth a hundred pounds and it decreases by ten percent every year of the original amount, complete original. So that means I could decrease by ten pounds every year. That's different from uh, a compound percentage, which means uh, a percentage on the previous year. Okay. Anyway, let's not make that too complicated. Just bear that in mind. Um, let's finish off with this very simple thing here. If I'm if I want to find the percentage increase from 25 to 30, well, I've increased by 5, which is this 30 take away 25 bit, okay, and uh, I want to know f that 5, what that 5 is as a percentage of the original, because I'm increasing from the original, of course, so 5 out of 25. Okay, so 5 out of 25 is just the same as writing 1 fifth, so 1 fifth, I've increased by 1 fifth of the original of course okay because i'm increasing from something so i'll talk about the original not from not the new thing of course okay so one fifth of uh i've increased by one fifth and if i want to convert it percentage at times by 100 because i want to work out one fifth of a hundred one fifth of a hundred is obviously twenty percent okay so that's that that's the simple little one at the end little example.